more than 150 works of art have been brought together for what auction house Christie's say is the largest exhibition of Arab art to take place in London. Titled Modern and Contemporary Art of the Arab World, the show is divided into two sections and features items from across the region, spanning 80 years and various mediums. The non-selling Kwakba highlights from the Brazil Art Foundation is a gender-balanced collection featuring some hundred pieces. Emirati art reimagined Hassan Sharif and the contemporary vices centers around the pioneering artist and include items on loan and for sale. Both sections offers paintings, sculptures, and installations from celebrated and lesser known names. Rida Movni, the exhibition's curator and Christie's Middle East and North Africa deputy chairman, said on the show's opening day. This is special because we try to reflect on the collecting practice of Barjil Art Foundation. And the foundation really display the works in a very innovative and audacious way because they represent a gender balanced exhibition, 50% are male, 50% are female. And also what they try to do is also show artists from different geographies, from the Arab world, from North Africa, from the Levant, from the Gulf, uh, from so many different places, from the Arab and Islamic world. So we are really lucky and fortunate to be able to show so many geographies, but also so many different stories in this exhibition. Key pieces of Kwakba include Syrian painter Marwan's head from the mid-1970s, Lebanese artist Saima for native radiation painted in the late 1960s, and Egyptian painter and activist Dreams of Detainee from 1961. The Emirati section is woven around Sharif's multidisciplinary body of work and also introduces younger talent. The aim of the double billing is to woo and to educate Mumni set. The section downstairs has a particular focus on the UE art scene. With, uh, we are presenting 30 extremely beautiful works by the Emirati artist Hassan Sharif, who was a pioneering artist who introduced conceptual art in the UE and impacted massively the art of his country and all uh, the Gulf and the Arab world. It's usually quite season for us because we don't have sales, so we decided really to organize this exhibition to bring people to discover Arab art and culture. But also we wanted also to showcase one of the most spectacular art scene in the world that is unknown also for the general public. And Chris has decided to organize that because we also serve as a cultural bridge and we wanted to take this opportunity during the summer. The exhibition with free entry runs through August 23 at Christie's London headquarters.